everybody, hello, hello, and uh, welcome. Today we'll be looking at the Tim Holtz file folder. It was a craft file folder and I covered it in Tim Holtz and a bit of Kathy Holden papers. And we made our start with the big pocket at the back with the notepad in, which is lovely, I love that. Uh, and then last week we did the yellow page very nice, very nice. Um, yeah, I like that. And then today we're going to do the green page on the reverse of the yellow side. So let's just get that out. Shut that up again. So we're going to go building on the on the back, on the reverse of that. So. Here we are, right. Now, what I used was the Tim Holtz Backdrops Volume 5. Um, this is what I've been using throughout. And that's going to be our very background. And then I want some green card to match. Now, I did have an, I made a, uh, what do you call it? A forerunner to this, if you like, just to practice the ideas. And I did have some green card that was 49 and market. I'm not saying that there's not a green in the Timmy set, I don't know. But this was just a back, you know, the packaging that came with Lavinia Stumps um, stencil. And it's just too nice to waste. So what I want to do is I just want to tear a small-ish piece at the bottom, so about there. I'm hoping this is going to tear all right. Yikes. It's a little bit tough to tear. Like that. Now I don't want all these white bits on it. So I'll just see if I can take those off couple of white bits I can deal with but that's just too white probably should have torn it the other way oh my goodness me Okay, that'll do me nicely. Let's just get rid of these little bits into the bin. So that's going to go there. It's a, it's a bit wide, but we can chop that off in a minute. And then I want another one. I don't know whether or not to use this nice... I think I'll use that nice light green bit at the top. So let's just cut just underneath that Lavinia Stamps insignia logo and that can go out. That's no good to me. Um, so what size do I want this? Well, this is at its narrowest end, just over an inch and a half. So I want this bit to go in a little bit further up, maybe to there. Yeah, it's about three quarters of an inch above that, uh, the, this hole here. Power of speech seems to be evading me today. So I want to cut that about there. So let's just chop that off. And then I want to tear the top. So let's see if it tears better this way. Yeah, it does a little bit. Okay, so I can cut that off anyway because it's too wide. So let's just have a look and see where we need to cut this. 
sold it up to that edge there and I'm just going to make a pencil mark there where I need to cut it and here same on this one that will be fine where it is like that and I just want to cut that right so just trim those off and then we've got our two pockety pieces which we shall ink around lovely so they should be okay now let's just give them a try that's going to go about there and this is going to go about there yeah I think that'll be all right I think that's fine so then we want to put this green piece green piece I'm just going to move that clip from the that's holding the front card in place and I want that just underneath don't need to waste it so just down below this up to the top which is about there so let me just trim that off and it's very green this page it really is I don't blame you if you choose to use something else and then how wide do we want it we want it oh no we need it to come over that I'm going to leave it as is actually and I'll cut that off when we get to there right so the first thing to do then is ink around here um no it's not first thing to do is stick it on stick it on trim around it so let's get this on exactly where we want it right to the edge there and right to the edge at the top that's lovely perfect now I'm going to leave that to dry because it's still got glue on it and just wipe most of it off because it's not needed there and then we can put these in place so that's going to go about there I said so these do need to be inked around so let's get the vintage photo out very strong this packaging I can tell you I mean it, it, it did have st uh, st stencils in it and I'm think I don't need to do the bottom because the little pockets covering that up so there we are That's that. I'll just give that another little linking and this does need to be inked all the way around I'm just going to give that white a really good inking so don't I don't like it. I don't really want to see it. That little bit there needs stuck down. There we go. So that's what that's going to look like. It's going to be nice, I think. Let's just stick this little bit down. Or it will forever annoy me. Did 
did I actually put any glue on there? I mean, why isn't it sticking? Ah, oh, my glue bottle's jammed up. That's not good. Let's get a pin from somewhere. There must be one over here somewhere. Here we are. Let's unclog it if we can. Try that, see if it's any better. Oh yeah, we have lift off. Lovely, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. So, put the lid on that glue before it clogs as well. Put the pin away. Right, so we can glue these on. So, just down the side on this one. Because we're going to put a big journaling card at the back. I want it to go all the way to the bottom. There we go. So making sure that you cover up that piece by, I don't know, three quarters of an inch, something like that, I'd say it is. And just check that that's, yeah, that's fine. So there we go, that's that piece on. And then this piece you need to do all three sides, not the top, but the others. Well, it's very quiet here today because Mr. F's gone grocery shopping. And one or two other things, bits and pieces that he needs to see to and what have you. There we go. So that's our pocket arrangement done. And the backdrop is on. Give that a really good press. And the next thing we need to do is cut this out to the right shape. So I'm going to get my cutting board out. I'll get this little one out because I've got a whole heck of a lot of room up here, as ever. So I'm going to get my, my uh, blade out and my ruler. using the end with the metal end of the ruler just cut up there to there and there's a little bit there and then down the edge of the taggy bit there. so that should be okay that loose as well I think so so now I'm just going to take my blade I've tried this with scissors and it's just nearly impossible so I'm just going to take my blade and go around there if you're not used to working with blades please take care and keep your fingers well away as far away as you can Don't think my blade's the sharpest, but there we go, we've got there. Like I said, it's just almost impossible to get your scissors to turn in that. So there we have it. There's our backdrop and our pockets done and dusted. Now I can ink the top part <clears throat> around here. Oh, 
I don't want it really, really dark. Uh, so I'm using Vintage Photo, which is just a nice kind of mid-brown colour. The Distress Ink Vintage Photo can have a bit of an orangey look to it, so I'm using the archival. So there we are, that's fine. Right, so now we can start building up the um, the God, my words today. The collage piece that goes on the front of this pocket and the big collage piece that goes behind. Now what I'm using, what I'm basing it on is this lady and she comes from a set by Witchcraft Do You Do that have got all these coloured people. Um, this is the green set but they're, I mean, they're just fabulous. There's a set to fussy cut and there's the same set that's just got black lines around like these that you can use on your scan and cut if you've got one. I don't have one so I have to fussy cut. But look at them. They're gorgeous and they come in about, I don't know, I'm guessing nine, ten colours. And there's so many sheets that, that print out. It's, oh, it's fabulous. It's, I'm, I'm in love with it. So that was what brought about this whole green thing and she's just going to live there now before I do that the only thing I want to colour is the flowers in her hat so I'm just going to get my crayons out my coloured pencils and I'm going to be using this piece of ephemera so I want something that sort of matches that uh, which is basically pink I think um, too many colours of pink to choose from <laughs> that's more of a lavender that might be a bit that's quite nice and maybe something like this I'll give that a try anyway so I'll just go basically over a lot of it with the light pink which is very light actually. Leave some area for some greens. And then I'll go over the bits that look darker with this. And hopefully we'll just get a nice sort of pinky, mixy colour. My apologies to people like Roz and Matty, who are brilliant colour people. I'm not, as you can see. But I'm just following the lines that I've been given. Right, so I think that's basically all right. A little bit in there, maybe. And then I'm going to just get a green, a, a regular, a regular green, one that matches that if I can. That might do it actually. Yeah, and let's just put some leaves in a. I'm just going to give this a light colour, and then I'm going to come back with a lighter colour. I'm not sure I like this colour I'm using. I'll just give it a light coat um, and then I'll, I want a lighter green. Try this one. Yeah, that might be better. That might be a bit better. You can do what you like with these. Paint, paint them, marker pen them, alcohol pen them. Do whatever you fancy. I just think she looks a bit better with a bit of, bit of colour in a hat. Otherwise, at the end, it sort of stands out as being a bit plain. Lovely. Just going to go over that line of a brim of a hat. Yeah, I think that's I think that's fine. Minimal effort. Lovely jubbly. Right. So I have gone round her with some. Uh, vintage photo ink just to kind of hide the um, 
the fussy cut lines, you know, the lines where I cut to. And the other thing I've done with, before I cut her out, I stuck her onto some of my um, 160 GSM paper. So when I cut her out, she's got a bit more body to her because I only printed her on quite thin card uh, paper, should I say. So she is going to go there. And doesn't she look fabulous already? <laughs> she, just, she just does. Okay, so let's build up this collage around her. Now I've got all kinds of green greenery out lots and lots of it um, including these two now these are from an old Tim Holtz set um, but I've, I've got loads because I bought loads at the time so and and the mirror images of each other like that okay so first thing I'm going to use is this I think this is from the palettes set and that's going to go behind her head, kind of like that. Then one of these. These come in sets of kind of four, like that. And I've just cut one out. And that's going to go right there, right. Let's bring you in a bit. That might be a bit much, do you think? There, yeah. I reckon that's all right there. I think you can see what I'm up to. So, yeah, I've got this. This. She's going in front of it. Then one of these, come here, is going just behind, in this part here, a neck. Just going in there. So it's behind, but I want it sticking out a little bit. So I'm just going to bring her along like that to there and then these labels which definitely come in one of the Tim Holtz latest lots of ephemera and I want to put that there I'm going to have to put that in a touch bring that out a touch to there because I, I want this edge staggered and I also want numbers or something on that green label so this was actually lying on my desk, so I'm going to use it. And I'm going to use grey. Because I, I want to see it, but I don't want it to be really noticeable. Now I'm hoping I've got another one of these. Because I want one for the other side. Ah oh, yeah, there we are. So I'm going to stamp them both at the same time. Just with the same stamp. This one I'm going to put up the way. Don't need ink on that final digit there. It's come off the block, so, so I'm just going to put that there. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so where were we? We've got her down a bit like that then we've got this uh, little ticket that's going to go there then on the other side I'm going to put the other little ticket up there yeah kind of there I think then one of these, these are these um, collage tiles. And you know, I've, I very seldom use them really, to be honest. Um, yeah, that'll do. And I'm just going to put that, well, I'll put it on top, it doesn't really matter. So that's there. I think she's a bit too much over this way, maybe just a little bit. Maybe I want that out a bit. So it's a really easy collage, as you can see, it's just a few
few pieces. But then I've got this, the flower, and I do want to include this. Now it's stuck on in a weird sort of way. It goes behind her like that, and then it comes out up over her face like that. Yeah, so I need to be able to move that. When you can't grab hold of anything, it is so annoying. The little label that we put in there, once you put the flower on, it just gets totally lost. So let's pull that out if we can. No, of course we can't. Oh, it's going from bad to worse. Maybe the first thing and the best thing to do is to stick this on. And then we've got one piece rather than two. So I think I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick that in place there. So it's just a little bit up this side here. And that goes under there and out here like that right is that right i think that's right so i'm just going to get my towel because it's a little bit of glue there okay brilliant yeah so now we're just dealing with one piece instead of two which is much easier stick that tip of that flower down there lovely right so let's Let's begin building this collage again. I've got all the right pieces here. Um, just now we need to put them where they need to go. So she is going there. I'm saying she's going there. Then I've got this one little ticket thing there behind her. And then I've got one of my little green outlined tickets. I in the right place, I'm a hack. Move up. Move up, move up, move up. There you can see now I think. And then this little ticket that's just gonna go there in the side. Right, so they're perfect. I'm happy with those. So let's stick those down. Let's stick as we go, because there's nothing going behind them. That just goes up under her neck, like that. And then this one. Comes out beyond that, like that. Lovely, so I've got that side done. She's obviously not stuck on yet, but we've got that side of the collage done. It's a really easy collage, this. Really, really easy. And then we've got... Stay where I put you, love. We've got this one that's coming out. about there and then this one that comes out at the bottom which I think goes under so let's come on oh my goodness I'm sure this must be annoying you it's driving me mad there we go so this piece just gets stuck along there, I think. Just underneath her, but sticking out like that. And then this little label gets stuck there.
And let's just have a look and see what we think. I think that's great. I think that looks fine. Yeah, I think that's a nice collage, actually. Um, so what I did with the one that I did previously, the practice one, if you like, is I... Well, let's stick her on first. Which bits don't need sticking? The very bottom and that bit of a hat. So let's just stick her on. So I don't need the very bottom. I need all these bits. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly bits. Don't don't need the very top either, do I? I don't think. There we go. Right. So let's get her exactly where we want her. And I'm gauging that by the neck. Let's get that straight on a line and then I can get her straight. Oh, well, she's stuck now. So wherever she is, is wherever she is. But I think that's fine. Yeah, so let's mop up some of this glue carnage down here. Right, so what I did with mine was I took a piece of my uh, cream backing paper and I just flip this up this way so, so we can use it as a journaling card really. took my pencil and I drew round all the square bits. Well, you know, bits that I could reasonably expect to cut out. So I'm leaving a hat on the top of that flower because I just think that's unreasonable. So, there we are, and I'll just join that up when I cut it, just with a straight line. But I need to cut inside those marks, because that would be right on the outside. It would be too, too big. Just so we can actually use it as a journaling card. So I'm cutting, you know, inside those lines that we made. There will be bits you'll have to correct. There just always is. And I'm going, this is fast for me cutting out, so... There's bound to be mistakes. There we go. So let's just see what this looks like on the on here. Turn it over. Well, it's not too bad really. It's okay. Just need a little bit off down here. And I think that should be fine. I'm going to just glue that now. I'm going to glue it with my collar so I can manipulate it. Make sure I'm putting the glue on the right side. So I can move it around a little bit just to get it exactly where I need it. You don't need to do this. If you don't want to make yours into a journaling spot, don't don't bother with this. I just thought it tidied it all up and gave it a purpose.
So just fiddle around with it till you get it exactly right. And I think there's just one little bit there that I need to address. And apart from that, I think we're all right. Let's see if I can snip that out. If not, I'll have to ink it. <laughs> no, I've got some good little blue scissors somewhere, but I don't know where they are. So let's just stick a little of that, that's it. A little bit of ink in there, perfect. So there we have it, there's our journaling card. That's what it looks like on the other side. So there is journaling there. And that's gonna go into our pocket like that. She looks nice, doesn't she? I think so, yes. So now we have to do the collage that's on the bottom on this bottom pocket so what am I going to use well I decided to use a strip of what was left for here and I'm going to cut it out at about half an inch about half an inch maybe a touch more uh, I think that's on the metal part there so yeah that's half an inch what we think I think that's fine you don't want it too big because the pocket isn't very deep itself so I'm just gonna my intention is to just put that across there but let's build a collage first um, then I want another one of these don't think that's quite the right green although it's you know supposed to be but never mind that'll go there that's fine and then um yeah i've got this these are all from um witchcraft you do they are just so handy dandy they absolutely are you get reams of them so i'm just going to cut this down because it's a little bit large where it is So I've cut it down, but I've left some of the white. So we'll see what that looks in the final countdown. I don't want to get rid of it. Yeah, I'm going to cut the white out. Now it's like almost impossible because it's so small. take my time and see if I can get this white cut out. I could cut it myself with scissors but we all know it would not be straight. And just this side now. So I've cut off all the white, most of the border, so I've just got the word left get rid of all the water one side um, and I'm going to put it there but I'd like it on something but I'll come back to that because the important element of this is the mirror image of that and this is going to go here and it's going to go so it just goes up this side of her face which is about there, I would say. So I can move that across. And that's all right there. Yeah, I think, I think, and that's it. That's the whole kind of thing. So I've got two choices. I've got this. It's kind of like mummy cloth, I think. I got it um, off a lady on Etsy. I'll tell you the truth. It's just it's just arrived the postman just brought it and I actually had to puzzle what it was I could not remember what I'd bought which is sad isn't it um but it's this it's gorgeous 
see it's very loose weave it's, it's quite like mummy cloth so I could if I wanted to stick that little bit onto there and put that all the way across and then put my memories on my little uh, tickety thing like there sort of um, I've also got a stump yeah a stump which I'm gonna just pop into there and then the flower so I don't know I don't think I'm gonna do that although I do like it if you decide to do it, I completely understand why, because it's it's very nice. But I think I'm just going to put the memories on it. I don't know if this tears or... Nope. So I'm just going to fray some of this on the edge off a bit so it doesn't look too perfect I don't know if you can kind of distort it or what don't know anything about it anyway there we have it so that is going onto there right so let's let's do that then let's stick that onto there Fairly central, lovely, that's that. So, and the other thing I want to do is stick this down. So let's put some glue on that. this we want it straight about there I'd say straight across there let's just check it is straight just a bit over a half and maybe down a touch yeah I think I think that is straight guys that's good so I'll just chop that off Straighten it up. There we go. Oh, I so like this collage and I've no idea why. It's got to be one of the simplest collages ever. So this Memories is going there. And it's going to have that stamp just behind it. And I don't care if that comes up over the pocket, that's fine. So that's going to go there. Then we've got this one. Just looking what else I've got. I've got another one of those green. It's another one of these, but the top ticket's different. It says something different, so I think I'll use that. Otherwise the two the same look a bit close together really. So I'll use that one put that there and see what the flower looks like there I don't know I'm wondering if that would look better at that side no you can't really see it That does need to go there. Memories could come over the top of that flower. But it's not going to look right. I want that down a bit, nearer the bottom. I'm just wondering if she... Does she go in a bit more? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that's fine. OK, right. Let's stick the memories on. Let's stick the postage stamp on first. That's the bottom layer. Put there. Then the memories. So I'm just going over where the card is, where the paper is with my glue. I'm not putting the glue just where the fabric is. I'm putting quite a bit on because it looks to me like it'll drink all that glue up. So that's going there. Lovely, lovely. Then this. And you notice I'm not inking anything today because I didn't want it to just get dark on me. I wanted to be able to show that lady off in a full splendour. No, I'm going to put that down there. I know it's all a bit samey. We've got something there and we've got something here, but I think it looks all right. And then this, which goes down there and comes up there. Perfect. Perfect. So, let's just... Oh, yeah, we don't want to glue all of that, do we? Up to about there. Let's try that for size. I think we're okay. Yeah, doesn't she look pretty when she's framed by those flowers? I think so. She looks gorgeous. Yeah, I like that. So all that remains then is the uh, journaling cards at the back. Journaling card, should I say. And um, I have chosen this one. Well, it could be either, actually. It could be that one, which is really nice. Or it could be that one. And I'm going for this one. I, I know it's more green and this one probably makes her stand out more. But no, I want this green. It's just gorgeous. So how long do I want it to be? Well, I want it to come almost to the bottom here because I want it to be a really good journaling card. Um, get my pencil out. So I want that to be about about there, about an inch less. Chop that off. There we go. Does that fit in there? No. And then I want it to be, you know, three quarters of an inch in from each edge, so about there. I need to get my next size up to me trimmer out. I knew this was going to be a problem. I just knew it. I'm going to mark it on this side. There, I can see that now. Lovely. So let's just try that for size. Yeah, I think that's I think that's great. And I also want to put something on it. And I've selected this piece. So it's out of the layers um, recent ideology release. And I'm just going to put that there. And I think that makes her stand out more 
but yet it's in keeping with everything. So what I'm going to do is back this thing with paper, stick that on and I'll be right back to you. OK, so I've made my uh, card and it's ready just to go in there. bit of a close fit but it does fit like that maybe just a little bit further down if we not I think we're at the bottom there we go so that's that doesn't it look lovely I love it the only thing to do is to put a word on this tab so I've got my Kathy Holden sign here stamps um, there's plenty of words on here I quite like the idea of good work huh that tickles me slightly so let's get that out and just stamp it out and check it fits where we want it to go bit of cream card and I'm going to do it in uh, dark brown I think if I know where the dark brown is yeah, here it is ground espresso Perfect. Perfectly perfect. Let's just pop that away. Pink sorry silk following me around. Right, now I'm going to try and cut this out by eye. <laughs> So, just want the bottom one, the top one went slightly light. <gasps> the concentration. There we go. Oh yeah, it fits there perfectly. Good work. <laughs> right, so let's ink that up, stick it on, and then I think you could see we're done. Um, I'm just going to use another little bit of scrap card just to ink that up. That's fine. Bit of glue. Good work. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, I know. The only thing left to do, and I'm not going to do it just yet, uh, is to punch through the holes. You can see the holes on this side, so you know where they need to go. The only reason I'm not doing mine just yet is Mr. F told me this morning that he'd ordered a six-hole punch for me. So I'm going to wait for that to come to do mine. If you haven't got a six hole punch, then just punch through each one as we did last time. Um, I've got a little clip here that clip keeps that in place. Um, oh, come on. Over you go. Why are you being awkward? There we go. Uh, so I'll wait for that to come before I punch my holes out. But that is our lady. What do you think? Let me know what you think. I hope you like it. I really do. Uh, this is the one that I did in practice. So you can see there's, they're fairly similar. Um, very similar indeed. But this one's going to go into the, the other one. The one that I always film everything with you. So there we have it. That's the Tim Holtz folio um, video for, for this week, probably. And I'll see you soon. Bye.